The state attorney's office has released police body cam video of two more local police shootings. Joy is here now after reviewing these latest clips. And Joy, in both videos, the people shot died. Yes, Mary, we're about to show you one of those right now. And that's also why we paused the video just as the shooting happened. So back in May, you can take a look behind me. 61-year-old John Dunaway III crashes his car on JTB near Hodges Boulevard. No one else was involved. On video, you see him tell Jacksonville police officer B. Andrzejczyk that he fell asleep at the wheel and he doesn't remember what happened. And you can actually see in the video he is physically shaken up. Then you're about to see that out of nowhere, Dunaway charges at that officer. When the officer's taser has no lasting effect on Dunaway, he goes back to his car, says he has a gun, and that is when the shooting happens. A warning, though, watching this all happen may be disturbing. <laughs> Stop! Stop what you're doing right now! What are you doing? I don't know! I don't know. Hey, rescue 1068 again. He just lost his mind on me and tried to attack me. Stop! Stop what you're doing! Stop! Stop! You better kill me! Stop! You better! You better kill me! Stop! 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 Okay. He's fleeing and running around. He says he's got a gun. Stop! 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 No! Stop! No! Stop! Stop! Oh! 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 Dunaway dies at the scene. In the end, police did not find a gun. The state attorney's office has ruled Officer Andrzejczyk's actions justified, but there's still an internal use of force investigation that's ongoing on this case. Coming up at 6 o'clock, video of the second police-involved shooting released today in which the man shot is waving a butcher knife around as police are standing right in front of him. We'll show you that video at 6.